Growing up, I always knew that I wanted to do something in emergency services. R800, South 99. Four years as a paramedic now. It's an absolutely great job, really rewarding. Being Métis, I can relate with some of the people that we deal with. I didn't necessarily have the greatest childhood. You know, growing up wasn't easy for me. We didn't have a whole lot of money. You gotta kind of adapt and overcome and work with what you have. And I was really lucky to have a lot of family who was able to be really close and support me. At the end of the day, I really appreciate that they were there for me. I can't even see out of my glasses, they're so dirty. Very dirty paw prints all over them, hey? Base to 28. This is called in by city police. They are on scene. The 20-year-old female patient, she was found hanging. She has been cut down. Not conscious, breathing is confirmed. Oh, God, this sucks. Don't think about it until you get there. No. I just, honestly, this is just how my cousin killed herself, like, not even long ago, so. Are you gonna be okay? Just sucks. Do you need someone else to come? No, it's okay. As soon as I see Josh's emotion, and as soon as he tells me his experience, I'm concerned that this call could potentially haunt him. Do you want them to send another unit? Josh, just, it's okay. <sighs> I've had losses in my own life, and I can relate to how Josh is feeling. 1967, I'm gonna need another unit here. My partner is out for this one. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Right away, some thoughts and some feelings kind of start rushing to me, and as soon as I started getting closer to the scene, I just couldn't really control my emotions. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Rob will be there. It's okay. I can handle this until we get Rob here. Fire's here. They can help me as much as they can. Just don't come in. Don't mess yourself up. Okay? Just stay in here. It's okay. I'll be fine. I promise. If I, if I need you, I'll call you, okay? Just stay. This was an unusual call for me in the sense that it was just so close to the events that happened. No, no, no. Just stay. It's okay. I'm not concerned about him not being able to perform his job. I'm not. I'm more concerned if he's going to try and come in and he's going to try and help me and he's gonna wanna help the patient. But in the end, it's not gonna help him. Are you awake, honey? What's your name? It's hard to try to keep everything in all the time. You know, you do your best to try to desensitize yourself, keep everything inside without showing that emotion. There's no real way to prep yourself for somebody who's trying to take their own life. I find some things just have a certain trigger. Did you lose consciousness when this happened? I couldn't unconnect myself to what was going on in my life, and that's never happened to me before. When I see her walking out of the house on her own, I am happy that, you know, the outcome wasn't how I anticipated it to be. In May, my cousin is 17. She hung herself kind of in a similar fashion, and, um, it just, I never had anything like that ever happen in our family, and it was kind of one of those things I just was not expecting. Those are definitely tough calls. I think everybody's been touched by something like that, so when you have something that hits you with the same age, demographic, it's really, it's really hard to deal with. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be okay. Josh is young and Josh is having to learn to deal with kind of the pitfalls and perils of the job. And this one hit him a little bit close to home. Uh, Josh and I have a pretty close connection over what, what it was because his cousin that took her own life, I was the one that had to work that cardiac arrest and, and call her. I just it hit too close to home. And some time to pull yourself back together? No, it should be okay. Thank you. Oh, I just, yeah. I was just telling Kim, like, that's never happened to me ever. 
never lose that human touch, but at the same time, that's why you're gonna be good at what you do, because you care. If you didn't care, yeah. it wouldn't hit you. I've been there. Oh, God. Let's get out of here. 1967, no base. We are clear, and I'm assuming 16 back to 52.